and gentlemen, boys and girls, victims of all ages. What's up, motherfuckers? We should you post a gracious good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it may be for you, wherever in the world your folks may be. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me for a couple minutes today. We're going to have some fun. We're going to crack some jokes. We're going to make fun of some fucking retards and some police. Today's episode is all about the tyrants. Just, I got three tyrant pieces of shit that I can't wait to show you. But yesterday, look, and yesterday I asked you guys the questions at the end, and I asked you if the NFL was rigged. Now, at the time, I couldn't remember what fucking, what, what news source it came from because I'm fucked up all the time. But check it out. I stumbled on it again. And it was NFL on Fox. Now, check this out. NFL on Fox posted something that says Reba McIntyre, Usher, and Post Malone, which were the schmucks I was telling you about, were scheduled to premiere at this year's Super Bowl halftime show on February 11th which will be between the Baltimore Ravens and the San Francisco 49ers. How would the fuck would they know that? How would they know that? If 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 that's being said and they just slipped and fucked up, they gave away the divisional round and they gave away the championship round. That's why I was saying I feel like fucking Marty McFly. I feel like we should put some money on this motherfucker now. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like not having any money motherfucking sucks. In my area, let me tell you something. Your catalytic converter doesn't stand a chance in this area. Oh, no, 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 no. And here's another important life hack for you. Now check this out. If you're lucky enough that you can possibly rent the same type of vehicle that you own, literally, when you need new tires, you could change all four of your tires for like 40 bucks. You just rent that car for the day for like 40 bucks. You could just switch out all your tires. Problem fucking solved, right? Problem fucking solved. Thanks, body, you piece of shit. Listen, you ain't from the fucking trenches if you don't know shit about having a fucking spaghetti sandwich. You ain't from the trenches. And speaking of football, is it just me or does fucking Taylor Swift look like a fucking transgender Napoleon Dynamite? I feel like she looks like a transgender fucking retard like that, man. I don't know. But on the on the positive side. Got my DNA test back from Ancestry.com. Very excited to say that I am 7% African. So if any of you bitches out there get that urge of jungle fever again anytime soon, hit a motherfucker up, man. Let me know. Now, I was so excited about that that I posted it earlier. And some schmuck responds to me and he says, yeah, but are you 7% African American where it counts? Where it counts. I said, absolutely. My credit's fucked up. Yeah, I'm, I'm one. Yeah, my credit's fucked up. Jesus Christ, man. You know, and, 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 and that's the thing, right? Now, I'm damn near 50 years old. I'm a motherfucking grandfather, which is fucking crazy. But now that I sit back and think about it, you know what? I should have named my daughter pregnant. That's what I should have named her. So when she meets somebody, she's like, hi, my name's Stan. She could be like, hi, I'm pregnant. Oh, fuck you, girl. Fuck you. Then I only got to worry about black dudes wanting to hook up with her. <laughs> and here, here's another thing, too, right? Some fucking asshole posts, if black folks like chicken and Mexican folks like tacos, what do Caucasian folks like? Great fucking question. I had to respond and say, being able to say, happy Father's Day. Hey, you guys are important, cared for, valuable, and appreciated. If no one has told you yet today, just uh, love you's over this motherfucker, man. Like I said at the beginning, I got these three videos for you. This is the fucking tyrant asshole episode, apparently. The first video comes from another victim of police misconduct. In this video, we are going to meet Lieutenant Lick My Nuts, because he's a fucking certified piece of shit. Why do you hear the things that he has to say? The second video comes from MSAS. MSAS, I guess. I don't know. And this is the Armorillo College. Now, my dude tries to go into the Armorillo College to file an ADA complaint, and he meets this fucking piece of shit. Wait, you gotta see that one. And the very last video comes from Kentucky Reacts and Fort Public Safety. Oh, Paul Tink Tink. Now, my dude goes into the fucking Meade County cocksucker sheriff's office, right? They lose over this motherfucker, clearly for no other reason than the fact that he has a fucking camera. Now, these people were ultimately arrested for disorderly conduct. When this story broke and the news got a hold of it, uh, the sheriff said that these two folks were arrested specifically over disorderly conduct and not because of their cameras. Check out the fucking video and let me know what you guys think.
was they being disorderly or was it the cameras? Anywho, you guys know what time it is. Roll it up, twist it up, light it up, spark it up, shoot it up, whatever the fuck it is you do. You motherfuckers are in a judge-free zone over this motherfucker. Pour your motherfucking drinks. Bust up some weed. Let's put a little gas in the air and get right back into these fucking videos. Uh, like I said, first one, another victim of police misconduct. Show us what happened, my dude. Let's go. My people of this country and we're all going to attack. They ban us, they cancel us for speaking the facts. If you man enough, come stand with us, take USA back. And every time we pull up, all you're gonna see is American flag. First name? It's Lieutenant Parker. I'm the only Lieutenant Parker. At the Your name department. is Lieutenant Parker. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's two Parkers. There's a Brad Parker and there's um, this dipshit John Parker. Again, what was her name? I'm not giving you anybody else's name. You're not. You refuse to give me her name. I'm not. I gave you her name. I gave you That's my right. name. That's right. That's right. The supervisor for the city. So anything That's you right. need, you can handle through me. If you want to yeah, file a complaint, but you're not helping me. If you want to file a complaint, I would be glad to give you a complaint. I don't know form. if you want to file a complaint at this point. Okay. Well, I have other when, business to tend. When you decide you want to file a complaint, mm -hmm. you can reference the CAD ID event. Okay. Well, before we get into that, there, so can I get her name? What information do you have that you need? Can I get her name? What information do you need? May I get her name, sir? No, sir. I'm not being disrespectful. I'm not giving anybody else's name. Oh, you're going to you start being disrespectful. You're going to start no, taking sir. this to another level. I'm not being disrespectful. You're refusing to give me her name. You need, this is, you need to leave now. I need to leave? Yes, sir. Why? You don't have a... You don't like telling me what information you need. The doors are locked after hours for a reason. If you have public this records Parker, that you need... Are you trespassing me? From I'm not public? trespassing you right now. I'm okay. telling you you need to leave in this moment. Are you, you asking me or is that a lawful order? If you tell me that you have some information you need from, I, that I, I can provide for you, I, I, I can just... Lady's name. I told you, and you wouldn't provide it. Okay. Can we get past this point? Because all you got to do is give me her name, you're and then we continue. I'll be glad to give you her name. Okay. If you Look, decide you want to file a complaint, you're welcome to come point, back and call. I'm not going to answer any questions. I'd like to get her name. If you're going to refuse me, that okay, that's you, fine. You need to leave. May I get a complaint form for you? Yes, absolutely. Can I get a complaint form, please? Actually, make it 10, please. Can I get 10? What 10 officers are you complaining on? I'm not answering questions, sir. Okay, I'll give you a complaint form. You can list the 10 you, officers. You can give me 10. No, sir, I'm going to give you one. You're only going to give me one? Why is that? I'll give you one form. Why is that? Because you you're trying to make it challenging you for me? No, sir, you said you want one because for me. Because you don't, you're, you're going to disrespect person. me too I'm because I got a people. camera no. and you don't like the transparency part? I have a camera too. John Parker is real cocky about his uh, camera being on because in order for me to get that footage, I have to ask for permission. In North Carolina public records law, I have to ask for permission to see those public records that he captured on his body cam. And in order for me to obtain the images from that body cam, I have to pay $200 and go to a superior court judge asking him for those records and explaining why I need those records. Give me her name. And why are you being I gave you unprofessional? My name. I'm very professional. No, you think you are, but you're not. Okay. You'll be able to see. Is there the, anything else you, that you need? There's there's quite a bit that I need, but you haven't helped me okay. with the first. Well, what else would you need? Her name. I want some reports. I want some What's the other OCA's public other information. You need? As soon as you give me her name. Okay. You need to come back Monday during regular business hours. That's what you need to do. Why? I'm telling you, that's what you need to do. So you need mm -hmm. to leave. But police officers lie, no? Huh? Police officers lie, no? That's, I have nothing to do with that. Why, why can't here. I get her name? Do you know, know her name? Do you not know her here? name? No, I don't know her name, to be honest with is, you. Is this closed? Is this... Yeah, the doors are locked. How public, do you get in? Why don't you ask them? They're right here. They, they, they work for you. Because the doors I don't are answer questions. Back. You need to leave then. I need to leave? Yes, get out. Is that, that that's a lawful that's order? That's a lawful order because now you're trespassing because you have I'm no trespassing police business. I'm trespassing in a public You need to leave place. now. Or, or what? It's public when the doors are open. Okay. After hours, somebody has to let you in. So they have let you in. Okay. You are told now you're what? with the press. So you I'm have no here. press credentials. Okay. Oh, I need press credentials? Yeah, Who you provides told me you're those? a journalist. Who provides those? Whoever you work for. Oh, okay. Now you need to leave. I'm telling you, you need to leave. You have a complaint oh. form. You have my name. I can't finish my questions. I can't no. ask my reports. No, no, sir. You need to come back Monday. 
or doing business hours tomorrow morning is your, when the doors are open. You're, you're the highest person I'm the highest here? person you can speak to tonight and for the rest of the weekend. So if you want to speak to somebody higher, you can speak to a what's your What's your ID number, Parker? I don't have an ID number. You don't even have an ID we number? I have name tags. Yeah. I don't have badge numbers and stuff like oh, that. Oh, really? That's different. Okay, so... You're trespassing me from here? I don't understand. I'm just telling I'm you trying to get information. you need to leave. You're not asking for any information. You're being an antagonist, so you just need to leave. Wow. If you have information that you need, I'll mm -hmm. be glad to give it to you. I'm not giving you 10 complaint forms. I'm not writing down a list of names for everybody that works here. I'm not doing any of that. You have a complaint form. You have my name. You have her name. If you want to file a complaint on her, I'll give you the form. And I'll you're you fill out you're forcing me to get the form no, to forcing me you, to answer you, your question you on if I want to file a complaint. For no valid reason. You think it's not a valid reason. Okay, well, right now... Today, You're the judge, jury. I'm not a judge at all. Mm -hmm. uh, you asked to speak to... You're not professional either. I and I don't know if you, you understand your code of conduct. Isn't it on... Here. That's Can we... No, it's not. It's your mission, right? This is your core values? It's mission and core Culture of ex excellence. That You're not providing that. Um, there's no accountability because you're not going to give me her name, right? You want me to get out of here before you I give me her name. You don't have any official police business. Right. You told me I was going to be trespassing. Yeah. Which is fine. I'm a you're journalist. A I'm working on a story. You're not a journalist. What? Well, I'm not, not a, a journalist. journalist. Okay. I know exactly who you are. You do? Yeah. You're not a journalist. You I'm not worried leave. about that. Now you need to leave. Why? If you don't leave, you're going to be arrested. Because you're trespassing now because these doors That's fine. are locked. I don't want to be arrested. Well, then you need to get out. Please. So guys, I really didn't expect this type of encounter. I was a little over my head, uh, but I handled it the best I could. I wanted to uh, call the police department to really find out if John Parker was telling the truth or if he was a lying piece of shit like a lot of his uh, co-workers. You're probably not going to be surprised to hear what you're going to hear. So on Monday, I called the department, and this is what they said. Department's open. 24-7. If I wanted to file a complaint on a police officer, I could come in there and do that at any time. Correct. Yep. You, you can fill out a complaint form, um, or if you can always call, and we can uh, put you through to, like, their supervisor's extension. But Parker. Do you have a first name? It's Lieutenant Parker. I'm the only Lieutenant Parker. At the Your name department. is Lieutenant Parker. Mm -hmm. You're not going to give me your name or badge number. Where's your park at? I'm walking to it. You're not going to give me your name or badge number? You should have it by now. I don't. I already told you I don't. It's all good, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Get on this side. This is my best side over here. Why are you all always smart, Alex? That's my best side over here. And why were you polite until the very end? Because you've been disrespectful. Like I said, if you No, I recorded my entire conversation. I wasn't disrespectful to anybody. One more time, I will arrest you myself. No, you, you want to yell at that? No, you want to yell at me. All right. You get know you're my, breaking the law, get right? My campus. You know you're breaking the law, right? Get off my campus. And I can't have a supervisor either? Get off my campus. I can't have a supervisor either? No? No supervisor? You know when someone comes to file an ADA complaint, you cannot threaten to arrest them if they don't leave. You know that, right? No? Where's your car? I don't have to answer that. Yeah, get a supervisor. You know they just severely messed up, right? You probably don't understand the law. You know they just severely messed up. Tell me this, is this public property? Sidewalk? You tell me, is it? Is it? You tell me. You, you know all the, all, all the answers, right? Why are you such a smart aleck? Smart aleck? Yeah. What are you talking about smart aleck? Why were you being deceptive? What are you, what are you, you were telling me the whole time I was respectful. I recorded everything. But, dude, 
guess what? Uh, so have I. But how? You, you, your name's Jackson, but you won't give me your badge number. How can I, re how can I request it? Dude, how many ammo cards are there in the world? Are you going to tell me that you'll arrest me if I get don't get off the sidewalk? I'm trying to ask for your stuff. You won't give it to me. I took my name as Officer Maurice Jackson. Do you understand? Do you understand? I, I got that part. Badge number, please. 108. 108? Yeah. So, like I said, leave my property now. You know, that's why I was trying to ask if this was public property or not. Leave and you wouldn't tell me. This is private property. You understand? Okay, thank you. Do you understand? Sir, are you Come a supervisor? Here, you go to jail. Are you a supervisor? Thank you. Yeah. 8595. Wouldn't respond. Hey, boy. I came to file an ADA complaint and I was told I'd be arrested if I didn't leave. It's going on YouTube. It would be a lot more if the process was being followed properly then maybe I would have already had my records before court tomorrow, you know what I mean? So now we're having to ask the judge to give us yet another court date. Yeah, Ellen, Ellen is on her way to speak with you. Oh, thank you. So if you just want to wait a little while, so we'll you should, you need to be completely down. Yeah. Yeah. What? She'll, she'll Excuse in. me? She'll come in. What, what did you just tell her that for? She's being very helpful. You don't tell people to leave. Don't leave. Uh, you've been great. What's wrong with you? Who is that? How are you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Good. Doing very well, thank you. You got your way there. How y'all doing? Doing good, how are you? Uh, I've been better. I've been treated better, too. What can we help you with? Uh, well, it was at the clerk's office that needs to help me with this stuff. Um, I think they're the ones that called you because some woman just came up and told my clerk to not help me anymore with my record, the business I'm here for. Okay. That's what just happened. So I told her I want to know who she is. We would like to see you so we can follow up on the complaint. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So the reason, probably the reason why they don't want to help you is because y'all got cameras on. Y'all got cameras on. Y'all got cameras on. Y'all got cameras on. Well, that's something. Hey, look, man, there's one right there. See it? We record all of our business. And, and I can, and that's public. And that's how we do that, it's recording everything. Okay. And just in case you're wondering what the Kentucky law says about us recording in that clerk's office, well, it's this. There are no laws against it. Okay. So, Sir, I got court. Okay, thank you. What's, uh, what are y'all doing with him? Excuse me. They're making copies of our documents. Well, Leela, I think, is making some copies for him. Okay. But we have the right to refuse to be recorded. There's an order from Judge Butler. There's no order from a judge saying I can't record? We're allowed to record our Sir, what's your name? I'm oh, sorry. I'm Chief Deputy Whitey. Nice to meet you, sir. Office. Nice to meet you. But if you start making them feel uncomfortable and stuff, I can tell you to leave. Well, hold on, sir. And if you refuse to leave, I'll arrest you for disorderly conduct. The First Amendment does not only protect your free speech. It also protects your right to petition or grievances with your government officials. And this being the elected clerk's office, I had every right to discuss the discrepancy of that record with the clerk of courts for that case record. You already threatened his arrest? Oh, no, I'm not threatening him. Trust me. Well, why did you just say that? not a threat. Let I don't me, make threats. Let me go. Get, what is that? You get promise? your copies? And then no, I don't have, no, I need more than copies. I'm waiting on Ellen. Let them tell you the you truth. Get your copies and y'all can go. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, yes, y'all. Oh, no, I won't. One way or another. I will not. I'm not leaving until I get my record. Our business, sir. You get your Who are you again? I am Chief Deputy Waddy with Chief the Sheriff's Office. Chief Deputy. And you don't yeah. know to, to treat the public better than this? Know. What are you doing this for? This is my record. I got court tomorrow. You get your copies. You won't. I will. You get your copies. I don't you just need copies. Room. If you knew what was going You're on. You're not going to keep these ladies up I'm here. not keeping them up there doing nothing except for their job. You, I can't you don't know, do you know, I do know their job. Yes, this you is what I'm sitting for job. from Frankfurt. What is the job of the circuit court clerk? To go over these records with me. Oh, it to is. explain them. To explain them to she you? Yes, yes. She handles Show me that. She makes copies. She look up. She took the open records access for him. Show me that. Or just tell him the statute. You look it up. Show me that. You look it up. No, you Kentucky statute to open records. Tell him, me. tell him the number. Show me. You know her job open better than I do. Show me. Show me. I know this is the clerk's office, and these are clerk's records, and this has questionable question call. This has questionable stuff. What is her job? To tell me what this is about. You don't want answers from everybody else, but you don't want to give answers. 
What are you talking what about? Is job is it our job to what are you talking you about? Said, you said, did you come you in here to escalate job. the situation? No, I'm not escalating. Not the hell you are. You, you know what you ought to do? You ought to go on and get dismissed. Just you get on out of here. Go away. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's just go oh. to jail then. For this you know what? Oh, Excuse me. No, I ain't. Hold up. Get your hands off of him. Get your hands off of him. Why are you shaking so bad, bro? Don't you touch me. If you touch me, you're going to be in a pickle. Do not touch me. Oh, ha, ha. I wouldn't laugh. Don't touch me. Hey, that. You just messed up. Don't touch me. You want to go? Hey. I would not do that if I were you. What are you going to do? Don't fucking really? get Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is unnecessary. All right, guys. Everyone's still with me. We all still cool. Everybody's still all right. Sounds fucking good, man. Now, look, check this out. Unfortunately, I had to hook up with a legitimate whore last night. And so she sends me this message before we get together, before she comes over. She sends me this message. It's like, hey, did you get my nude that I sent you? I said, yeah, I did get it, but you got a different one because my boy showed me that one like three days ago. <laughs> Slut ass fucking. And then, and then, check this out. I get up in the morning, right? Now I'm fucked up. By the time I don't go to bed, I pass out. Funny thing about us alcoholics. But anywho, I pass out. I get up in the morning, right? I come out of the bathroom up to my surprise there's somebody standing in my kitchen making coffee it was weird to me to smell coffee and i'm thinking i thought i was the only one here so i go out into the kitchen i see this fucking broad standing there she's like mike honey i forgot to ask you what is it that you do for a living and i said oh honey i have a question for you what the fuck are you even still doing here bitch didn't i tell you your uber was outside last night anywho Hey, the whore pussy is better than no pussy, I guess. I don't know. That's how you know you're in love, though, when you start wearing condoms with everybody else that you're seeing opposed to your wife. I mean, fuck it, dude. I just got so goddamn jealous of the roads getting plowed all the time around my motherfucking area. You can only take so much. I've mean, got you know, handle so much. Anywho. If you have made it this far, you've made it all the way to the end. Very special thank you to the three channels. I guess technically it would be four, I guess. I don't know. Uh, another victim of police misconduct, MSAS, and Kentucky Reacts, and for public safety. If you guys are unfamiliar with these channels, I always leave the original link in the descriptions. You guys can click on them, head on over, let them know we was getting fucked up. We was watching their shit. We love them, we support them, and we got them back over this motherfucker. If you have a Facebook page, join us at the S-First MPGH Facebook group. My dude, Chris, will keep you entertained all day long with shit you don't see on this channel. And that being said, to the ones that love us, to the ones that lost us, and to the ones that get to meet a bunch of kick-ass motherfuckers like you and like me, you are important, you're cared for, you're valuable, and you're unbelievably appreciated. You are not worthless. And if no one has told you folks yet today, just know I love you over this bitch. And I will see you motherfuckers tomorrow morning. Cheers, guys. Stay safe. <laughs> Fucking slut ass, whore ass, pig ass bitches. Now is the time for me to rise to my feet. Wipe your spit from my face. Wipe these tears from my eyes. Now is the time for me to rise.